Hey guys, here we have an X-Power FC100 air circulator fan. Now this fan I've had for a few years and it's actually been one of my favorite shop fans because of the range of speeds you get with the four speeds and the timer. And I've actually found this feature very useful because I often use this fan to dry stuff, especially when I'm cleaning fans or when I work on projects and I need something to dry, I put this fan in front of it, set the timer, let it run for however long I set it. It goes up to 180 minutes, I believe. I don't think I've ever used it all the way up to its maximum timer setting, but it'll run for that time and it'll shut off on its own, which is super convenient in a shop, especially because I'm not always you know, paying attention to the parts that are drying. So it's been a great fan, it still works great. And uh, honestly, it's a very nice looking fan too. Um, I got this fan a few years ago for Max Power to do a product review on it. Yeah, still kicking. It might be just a hair dustier than it was brand new, but I mean, it's still, it's been taken care of really well. So it's looking pretty much like new. Four speeds. Timer up to 180 minutes, which of course is uh, three hours. And there's the back. One thing I do really like is the ease of service on this. Just take these screws out, the grill or the the back grill pops off, and also the blades can be taken off by that single nut. So cleaning is super easy with this fan. I cleaned it once before. And it's because I was working on a rather dusty project and this fan got a good dose of dust. So just cleaned that up, but uh, yeah. So big plus for that. I love fans that are easy to open up and clean. The only complaint I have with this fan, and I think I, I don't know if I mentioned it in the review video back when I made it, but uh, this is one of those things that you kind of figure out as you use the fan more. And it's the cord. It's pretty short. Um, the features state that it's around six feet, but it feels shorter than that. <laughs> I don't know why. And there were so many instances where I just felt like the cord could have been longer because it couldn't reach the outlet. So I had to use an extension cord. So it kind of gets annoying, but that's pretty much the only complaint I ever had so far with this fan. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start it up. Here it is on speed one, low speed. It does have a ball bearing PSC motor. It's a very efficient, smooth running and uh, pretty much maintenance free until the ball bearings go out. So like I said before, one of the things I love about this fan is the range of speeds. This is low speed and it's so quiet that, you know, sometimes I just forget that this fan is running. You can barely hear it. In fact, the sound of the ball bearings spinning is louder than the airflow at this point. Here. Kind of that high-pitched hissing sound that's from the ball bearings. Just the way they sound on, especially during low RPM speeds. Airflow is nice and gentle, it's good for drying stuff, like I said. I'll bump it up to speed too. Immediately, it's a noticeable step up from low. And this was really nice to see because nowadays, a lot of manufacturers don't really put a whole lot of emphasis on speed separation. They all seem to have very similar speeds, so like low... Like the point of having a three-speed fan is that you are supposed to get a fan that has three distinct speeds. That's why you have three different speeds, or in this case, four. But uh, sometimes, you know, all the speeds feel the same and that's kind of pointless. But with this fan, all four speeds are honestly very valuable in my opinion. They all have their uses. So here's a medium, or not medium, but I guess like a low medium speed too. 
bit more air, a bit more noise, but honestly, for the amount of air this fan is able to move, it's super quiet. And again, we are in an indoor setting, so imagine if this fan was out in a garage where there would be a little bit more, you know, like ambient noise. This fan would be pretty much silent. All right, let's bump it up to speed three. Again, a big step up, which I really like. Wait till we get to speed four. This thing is a little monster. And here's full power. <laughs> that was a big step up from even speed three, which for some people that might be like as much as you need it ever, but speed four is just like turbo mode. Yeah, this thing really cranks out the air. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> the Laguna getting windmilled. And the X bar is not even really pointing at the fan directly, and it's able to do that. Alright. Shut it down. We'll let it spin down. Not too bad for a ball bearing motor. Honestly, despite all of the use that I've had over the years, it really doesn't have a whole lot of total hours on it, you know, compared to the total lifespan of the ball bearing. So it may not even be at its full, you know, break in state. So the spin down time may even get better over time. Who knows? So, anyways, uh, that is the X Power FC100 air circulator back under the spotlight once again. So that's going to wrap up this one. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.